Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, and getting in your power abs. So, those of you guys that follow me or have jumped in, that jumped in the power abs workout on Thursday, you guys know that now I have a new program now available, uh, Power Abs 2.0 is now available for pre-sale. I'm super excited about it. Tens of thousands of people around the world have done power abs and had amazing results, but they finish the program and they're like, what's next? So sometimes they do it again or just wonder what the next uh, step is for power abs. So I listened and created Power Abs 2.0. Uh, I'm super excited about this program because it's a continuation of power abs. Power Apps has level one and two. Uh, Power Apps 2.0 has level 1.5 and 2.5. So it progresses some of the movements, including candlesticks and wall walks, which I know are two favorite movements um, from the Power Apps program. So there's just a little more difficult variations, um, which I think makes it more fun and just a different challenge. Plus, the harder the workout is, the better results you're gonna get. So everyone's everyone wants more ab definition, that's what I'm giving you from Power Abs 2.0. Plus, it has more upper body work. I get a lot of compliments on my arms, so figured I would take that into consideration as well. Um, so there's moves in there that are gonna help sculpt your shoulders along with working your arms and upper back. So, like I said, I'm super excited about the program. It's available for pre-sale. Uh, the link is gonna be on this post after we're done just piercepointers.com slash two, T-W-O. So, and someone just asks, is it more like summer abs or extreme power abs? Um, I'd say it's more like summer power abs. It's not quite to the level of extreme power abs, but it's definitely more challenging than power abs. So it's kind of right there in the middle. And that's why it's level 1.5 and 2.5. Um, just to kind of like fill in the gaps. Like sometimes it's a too big of a jump from level one to two. And so it makes it a little bit, uh, a little bit less of a jump, or so a little bit less intimidating, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, I could talk about, yes, I see someone's excited for 2.0. I am too, and I can't wait for it to be released and for you guys to give it a try. So without me talking, because I could talk all day about it, uh, we are gonna go into today's workout. So today we have four different movements. We are going to do three rounds 45 seconds of each, just back to back to back. So we get working. So what are the movements? Well, for level one, we're gonna start off with some candlestick roll to a sit up. So level one, just that candlestick roll, sit up. Try and touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, just reach as far as possible, even if that's your shin. When you're doing your candlestick, I want you to think about bringing those feet straight up to the ceiling and then reaching out. If you can't go up quite that high, it's okay just to roll back slightly and then come touch those feet. So that's gonna be level one. Level two, we're gonna do a candlestick roll to a lunge jump. So candlestick roll, up, and then we're just going into a lunge jump and lunge jump. Back to the middle, candlestick roll, lunge jump, lunge jump. So that is gonna be the first movement of today's workout. The second movement, we are going into some Flutter kicks. So I know a lot of people love flutter kicks as well. What is that? Well, on your back level one, you're gonna keep those knees bent. So just arms by your side. Knees are gonna be bent just back and forth. Number one rule here, I want you to keep that back nice and flat against the ground. If there's space between your back and the floor, lift those feet up higher. Even if your feet are this high, I don't care. I want your back flat against the ground. So arms gonna be right next to your side and then just kicking back and forth. You can relax your head as you do it too. Just make sure you're squeezing your abs and that back is flat against the ground. That is gonna be our level one. Level two, we're doing straight leg flutter kick. So ideally, you're gonna hold those arms over your head in a hollow body, then just kick those feet back and forth. Keep those feet nice and low. If it's too hard, you can't keep that back flat. It's okay to lift those feet up a little bit higher or put your hands underneath your hips. That will also make it a little bit easier. So that is gonna be our second movement. Our third movement, we are going to into some Superman 
snow angels. So this is one movement that's a sneak peek from Power Abs 2.0 because I love this movement and it's a fun variation on Superman. So it's good to do Superman's for your lower back so we balance out all that ab work. So I threw in a fun little variation to help you work that upper back as well. So for level one, you're just gonna lift up, arms down, out, up. That's gonna be level one. Like I said, make sure you're lifting up nice and high. Arms are gonna stay off the floor as you bring them down. Pause the bottom, right back up, and then relax. Level two is gonna be very similar, but we're not gonna come down between reps. You're just gonna hold that Superman, and then arms are just gonna come down, and up, down, and up. Try and keep those arms up as high as you can. If you can't get them up quite that high, if they're just hovering the floor, that's okay. We're just trying to work it and get better. That is gonna be our third movement. And our fourth movement is going to be reverse crunches with a twist. So another one of my favorites. These always get the abs on fire. You're gonna extend those legs and you're just bringing them in, up, and twisting at the top. Low. No matter if you're level one or two, you're gonna be doing this movement. Level one, you might not be able to extend your legs quite as far. It's okay just to keep them bent, up and twist, up and twist. That is gonna be our fourth and final movement. That's gonna work those six back muscles along with our obliques, which are on the side. We good? So once again, we are going to do three rounds. You're getting 45 seconds of work on each movement. Starting with candlestick roll to sit up or lunge jump if you're level two. Then we're getting flutter kicks, bending those knees if you're level one or keeping them straight for level two. Superman to snow angels, lifts for level one. You're just holding it for level two. And then reverse crunches with a twist. No matter if you're level one or two, it's gonna be the same thing. So we're going three rounds, 45 seconds of each. That means only nine minutes of work. You're welcome, you get an extra free minute. You can lay on the ground or whatever you want with that final minute. So, you guys ready? I'm gonna do one round level one, then level two, then back to level one, or maybe level two if I'm feeling motivated. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Starting in three, two, one, let's go. Start off with those candlestick rolls. We used to do a lot of candlestick rolls in gymnastics. That's why I figured they would be good for this program. Here we go. Try and touch those feet if you're doing level one, level two, you're standing up and giving me those alternating lunge jumps. 45 seconds of work, just try to keep moving. Make sure you're breathing. These will get you nice and warm. Start a little sweat from the beginning. Here we go. Try and touch those feet. Work those power abs. Here we go, we got five seconds. And then we're going to those flutter kicks. And flutter kick time. Level one, you can put those hands below your hips. Knees are bent. Level two, arms are gonna be over our head. Legs are gonna be nice and straight. Here we go, work those power abs. Let's go guys. Nice job, nice job. Try to hold it, like I said before. Make sure that back is nice and flat against the ground as we do these. That's the number one rule. So we can make sure we're working those abs properly and you're not feeling it in your lower back. Here we go, flutter kick, flutter kick. We got five more seconds, then we're flipping over and we're going to those Superman snow angels. And switch. Superman time. I feel like Superman's are a love-hate. Some people love them, some people hate them. But they're good for you, so we're gonna do them. Level two, you're gonna stay up the whole time. Level one, you can come down between each rep. Either way, try to keep those arms off the ground the whole time, lift them up nice and high. That's it, guys, keep working. We got 15 more seconds. And then we're moving on to those reverse crunches with a twist. Superman, here we go. Nice job, guys. And switch reverse crunches to a twist. Get those abs and obliques working. Here we go. Nice big twist at the top. 
That's it. Good work, guys. Good work. Here we go. This is going to be our final movement. And then we're one round in. Two to go after this. Nice job. Get those power outs. Good work. Good work. Try to keep moving. Keep grinding for these 45 seconds. Final 10 seconds, and we're back to those candlestick rolls. Here we go, guys. And candlestick rolls, let's get it. Level one, you're just doing to that setup. Level two, to these lunge jumps. Here we go. Crank out these reps. These will help get that heart rate up. That's it. Nice job, guys. Keep working. Let's go. Let's go. Ten more seconds. And then we're going to those flutter kicks. Nice. We got three, two, one. Flutter kicks. Oh. Those get me out of breath every time. Here we go. Flutter kicks. Try and hold the hollow. If you're doing level two, level one, you can keep those hands under your hips. Keep those knees bent. Remember, the higher up our feet are, the easier it's going to be. The lower our feet are, the harder it's going to be. Nice job. Keep that back nice and flat the whole time. Really squeeze those power abs as much as possible. We got 10 more seconds. Then we're going to those Supermans. Here we go, guys. And three, two, one, switch on that stomach. Get those Superman's snow angels. Which reminds you of when you're a kid and you do snow angels, but it's just your arms. We're not doing your legs. I mean, you can if you want. That would be kind of funny. Yeah, that's interesting. Keep those arms up. Nice job, guys. Lift up those arms as high as possible. That's how we get the most benefit. Let's get it, guys. Lift up, lift up. That's it. We got seven seconds. Then we're going to those reverse crunches with a twist. Here we go. And switch. Reverse crunches with a twist. Here we go. Work those power abs. Nice job, guys. After this, we only have one more round. This is our final movement, then one more round, and then power ups will be complete for the day. Here we go. 20 more seconds. Say, keep moving, keep moving. Power ups are getting on fire. Woo. We just got three minutes left after this. Let's go, guys. We got three, two, one. Woo. I'm gonna do, I guess I'm gonna try level two. Here we go. Keep working, last round. Last round, best round, let's get it. Nice job, guys, come on. These will get that heart rate up. Getting spicy. Let's go, let's go. We got eight seconds. And then we're going to those flutter kicks. Flutter kick time. Almost fell over at the end there. Jumping to the side. Ooh. Here we go. Get those power abs. Level one, you can bend your knees. Level two, you better be keeping them straight. That's it. Keep working, keep grinding. Just back and forth, back and forth. If you need to rest for a second, that's okay. Then just get right back to work. Here we go. Squeeze those power abs. We got 15 more seconds here. Squeeze them, squeeze them. Nice job. 
Crank them out, crank them out. Let's go, let's go. We got three, two, one. Ooh. Superman time. These are our final two exercises, and then we are done. So finish strong, try to keep working. Try not to rest if possible. If you need a little rest, that's okay though. Take a second. Let's get it, guys. Lifting those arms up as high as you can. Here we go. That's it. Nice job, nice job. We got 15 more seconds here. Lifting those arms. Lift them, lift them. Let's get it, guys. Three, two, one. Ooh. Reverse front to the twist. Final round. Final movement. 45 seconds of work, then you are done. Here we go, come on. Crank out these reps. Get those power outs. Let's get it, guys. Squeezing, squeezing. Ooh, we are working. Come on. Final 20 seconds. Crank out these reps. Let's go. Build those power outs. That's it. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Good, good. We got five. Go, go, go. Keep going. Come on, come on. And time. Woo! Just lay here for a second. Like they say, you got an extra minute. You might as well just lay here. Just get it. Let's take a second. Let's stretch out those power abs. <clears throat> they just work, so we got to stretch them. Relax a little bit, breathe, bring that heart rate down. This feels so nice, feels good. Stretch them out after they've been worked. Ooh. Awesome job guys, you did great. Hope you guys enjoyed that workout, I know I did. My abs are on fire now, but I feel accomplished. And I'm so glad you guys joined today's live. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed the workout. We got a little sneak peek uh, from Power Abs 2.0 which is my newest program. It is available for pre-sale now. It's a good progression after doing power abs. Like I said, a lot of people have seen results from power abs and they're like, what's next? So I took this into consideration and created power abs 2.0. It's a really cool program. I'm really excited about it. It progresses some of the movements from power abs and it has fun new variations and some extra arm work, upper back work, shoulders, and obviously a lot of abs because it's power abs. Um, so I hope you guys check it out. Just piercepointers.com slash two, T-W-O, not two, T-W-O. So check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed today's workout. I know I did, and I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Awesome work. Take care. Love you guys.